Hey guys, thanks for the click and welcome back. If you have a Glowforge, I know that you have wanted to get underneath the top side panel to clean or just to remove your exhaust fan, but you just can't seem to get your big hands underneath the top side panel. Well, I recently had to investigate a high voltage problem and removing the top side panel was the first thing I needed to do to access certain areas. So I'm gonna show you how I remove the top side panels. The first thing you need to do is to remove your crumb tray. Then locate the three screws that lock down the top panel to the frame. These screws are located underneath the rubber door seal on the front and the back. Using a number 10 torque bit, remove the three screws and set them aside. Now looking underneath the left front panel, you'll see some aluminum tape circles that are hiding the lock tabs. Using your fingernails, pry up the tape and remove the circles. This will expose the area you need to get to to unlock the tabs. Do this to all three. To get to the last piece of aluminum tape, you're going to have to slide the gantry to the front of the Glowforge. Now you will have room to remove that last piece of tape. Now slide the gantry back to the back of the Glowforge. Now find yourself some type of flat prying tool with a tapered front. It's important that the front is tapered so that it can slide underneath the metal tab. I got mine from an auto trim removal tool kit that I found on Amazon. Now using the front tapered part of the tool, slide it under the metal tab and the plastic housing, always pushing outwards. While pushing up, lift up on the top panel until it lifts up a bit. It's only going to lift up about a quarter of an inch or so. Now I'm going to move on to the second middle tab and insert the tool between the metal tab and the plastic housing, always pushing outward. Lift the front panel again until it lifts up. Okay, we're almost there. Now let's move the gantry back to the front of the Glowforge and let's move on to the third tab. And just like before, insert the tool underneath the metal tab in the plastic housing pushing the plastic housing outward. Lift up the top panel once again. Once it unlocks, it should pull up quite a bit and it will free it from the frame of the Glowforge. Now here's a good look at the metal tabs. The tabs have a square hole in them that would lock the plastic housing to it. Now I'm going to zoom in on the plastic housing. You can see three protruding tabs. These tabs are the ones that lock into the small squares on the metal tabs and lock it into place. So now, everything we did on the left side, let's go ahead and do it again on the right side. Let's go ahead and remove the screws. Let's insert the prying tool in between the tabs and the plastic housing, pushing outwards while lifting up. And let's go ahead and remove this right panel from the Glowforge. Once it's unlocked from the third metal tab, gently lift up the right panel and make sure the cable to the blue button is clear and lift up the panel. Now you must unplug the cable to free the right panel. Gently pull the connector off of the button. Well guys, that does it. We successfully removed the top panels off the Glowforge. Now you can get in there and do whatever maintenance you need to do like a deep clean or removing the internal fan. But always remember to unplug your Glowforge whenever you remove the top panels. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And if it happens in my world, I'll more than likely make a video of it. So until my next video, have a great day and see you soon.